Good morning, everyone. So we were discussing uh, moment of inertia. I have introduced the idea of moment of inertia and uh, the physical meaning of moment of inertia is the resistance that an object provides to change in angular motion. And as we saw in the last class, this not only depends on mass as it did on linear motion, but it also depends on the distance of the object from the axis of rotation. Okay? To be very specific, the perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation. And we had done a question we had done a question in which we tried to find the moment of inertia of these three objects. of these three objects. I believe this was one kilogram, this was two kilogram, this was three kilograms. And they were connected to each other. Right. Two meter rigid rods. Yes. So, I don't know if I'm going to go to the time table at first. You had to find the moment of inertia about the x axis, y axis, and z axis. And if I remember correctly, we had found that I x is equal to <coughs> i x is equal to uh, i think we found six six kg meter square and i y we found as 14 kg meter square and I said we found as 20 degrees. Now the next supply, I hope everybody remembers it, what we did in the last one. So find the moment of inertia of this object about y is equal to x. So you have to find the moment of inertia about this line. For those of you who do not remember, moment of inertia is summation of mi ri squared mi the mass of the ith particle ri. Perpendicular distance of the ith particle from the 
axis or so in this case this is the axis of rotation basically all you have to do is say uh, okay fine i is equal to one kilogram into distance square plus two kilogram into distance square plus three kilogram into distance square you have to figure out the perpendicular distances of one kilogram, two kilogram, three kilogram from whatever axis of rotation that I give. In this case, I have given the line y is equal to x. So the question really is. Uh, What is the perpendicular distance of a point from a straight line? It's not that difficult. Remember, we are looking for perpendicular distance of a point from a straight line. And I hope you're not, you're not the first time you're hearing this phrase, hearing this sentence. You have heard this sentence in maths before. Perpendicular distance of a point, x comma y. From the straight line, x vi to c is equal to zero. Ah, say answer. sign me gadbad ki hai Those of you who have done this, can you find the uh, moment of inertia about uh, now you put us a girl y is equal to 2x plus 1. Okay. So first, now, what is the distance of the, what is the distance of the point having coordinates x naught comma y naught with the line ax plus by plus c is equal to c. I hope everybody has uh, I hope everybody has uh, learned this. If you have not, then don't need to worry. If you have not learned, then there is no issue. When you are ready, you will be ready. Do you remember all these things? Anybody can tell me what is the perpendicular distance? Tell me what is the perpendicular distance? Tell 
be equal to what? Sir, mod of a x not plus b y not plus c. Ah, good. Root a square plus b square. A x not plus b y not plus c upon the root of a square plus. So in the first case, all you are doing is finding the perpendicular distance between what coordinates and what line y minus x is equal to so two kg ke coordinates can it should be easy this is one this is root three we have already found this right so we are finding the perpendicular distance of one and root three with y minus x this will be equal to root c uh, minus 1 whole divided by uh, the root of a square plus b square that is root 2. Hum 2 cos 15 we kar sakta hai, bilkul kar sakta hai, sakta hai. yes, bilkul kar sakta hai, yes. But you see, the 2 cos 15 wala hai, wo maybe is case mein kaam kar jaya hai. लेकिन जब ये ऐसे लाइन आने लग जाएंगे ना तब फिर वो गड़बड़ हो जाएगी हां बिल्कुल कर सकते हैं यस एंड देन द परपेंडिकुलर डिस्टेंस बिटवीन 3 के जी वाला प्लॉट जिसके कोऑर्डिनेट्स हैं 2, 0 एंड y minus x is equal to 0 ये जो लिखा है बे मैं क्या कर रहा था नाश्ता कर रहा था सो दिस विल बी इक्वल टू हाउ मच y 0 है x 2 है 2 डिवाइडेड बाय √2 व्हिच इज इक्वल टू यहां पे आएगा √3 1 बाय √2 होल स्क्वायर और यहां पे आएगा √3 So I'm going to write the answer up here. I about y is equal to is equal to 10 minus 2 root 3 kilogram meters. Okay, and the same method for y is equal to 2x, but can anybody tell me the answer? Somebody has worked it out. Same, bilkul, right? I'm just changing the slide for one moment. So we will get uh, okay, okay, we'll get. So we will get I is equal to one into zero square. So, no, sorry, zero is not. One into distance square plus two into distance square plus three into distance square. Perpendicular distance of zero comma zero from we have y is equal to 2x plus 1. We have y minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. This will be equal to 1 upon root 5. We have 1 upon root 5. So 
perpendicular distance of 1 comma root 3 from y minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0 uh, will give me uh, y that is root 3 minus 2 minus 1 upon root 5. So this will be root 3 minus 3 upon root 5. And perpendicular distance of 2 comma 0 from y minus 2x minus 1 is equal to 0. Uh, it will give me uh, 0 uh, minus 4 minus 1 5 which is equal to root 5. And I don't need to bother with the minus sign because the uh, jo formula hota hai wo pe mod sign leke hota hai. I don't really need to bother with the minus sign. Just expand this. So this will be equal to 1 by 5 uh, plus 2 by 5 uh, into this whole square, which will be uh, 9 plus 3 minus 6 root 3 uh, plus 15. I think, I think now you can work this out. So this will be the moment of inertia of this object of all the sciences. Why are we doing this exercise? Well, there are two purposes of doing this exercise. Uh, normally, of course, moment of inertia about x, y, z axis is sufficient. But here are two purposes. One purpose is that I wanted to introduce the only complication that matters, the only complication that is possible when we are finding moment of inertia of point objects. Uh, and that is that uh, you would be given an arbitrary straight line as an axis. So there is this additional step of uh, finding the perpendicular distance from the, uh, from, the, from the line that is given, from the axis of rotation. And second, I wanted to reiterate the fact, okay? this is most important, I want to reiterate the fact simply because you are seeing this for the first time. I want to reiterate the fact that this quantity called moment of inertia is dependent on the axis of rotation. So for the same object, you can have infinite values of moments of inertia. For the same object, you can have infinite values of moment of inertia. This is something that you have to digest, this is something that you have to understand. Okay? The moment of inertia is invariably dependent on the axis of rotation. Like we discussed in the last class, if I tell you the moment of inertia of an object, it is a nonsensical statement as long as I do not uh, tell you the axis of rotation. Just Telling that the moment of inertia is 20 kg meter square, it's a nonsensical story. Kiss axis ke about that is very important. Okay. Sir, a doubt. Tha. Haan, sir, jo y is equal to 2x plus 1. Hai. Sir, wo in kisi bhi point se coincide nahi karta, ya fir pass bhi nahi karta. Haan. Sir, to wo axis of rotation ke se ko. Earth, sun ke about rotate kar raha hai ki nahi kar Earth sun ke about rotate kar raha hai ki nahi? Earth apne axis pe rotate kar raha hai. Wo to usse to din aur raat hota hai na. That is uh, that is what is uh, making uh, uh, that is what is responsible for day and night. But what is responsible for a whole year? It is the rotation of the Earth around the sun. So what is the axis of rotation of the Earth around the sun? It is uh, an axis passing through the sun. 
Does it touch Haan, the earth? Sir. No. Sir. Oh, it does not. But still, I think it's a very good. Uh, I think it's a very good question, and it needs one more input from my side. That is that if we have. नहीं हाँ जो एक्स और रोटेशन है वही से देगा ना सो वाई इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स प्लस वन का मतलब हुआ जो हमारा नहीं बता सकते हम इनफाइनाइट एक्सेस ऑफ रोटेशन ये वाई इज इक्वल टू टू एक्स प्लस वन सपोज अगर इसके अराउंड रोटेशन हो रहा है इसका क्या मतलब हुआ इसका मतलब हुआ कि ये वाला पार्टिकल ऐसे घूमेगा ये वाला पार्टिकल ऐसे घूमेगा और ये वाला पार्टिकल ऐसे सो द रोटेशन ऑफ द होल ऑब्जेक्ट विल बी देयर सर एक डाउट है यू कैन इमेजिन हां एक सेकंड You can imagine that ये strings लगी हुई हैं ऐसे और ये ऐसे गोल गोल I hope hope this picture is clear enough. हाँ बोलो. तो मतलब ऐसा नहीं होगा कि जो two x plus one के जो parallel आपने line बनाई है वो stationary रहेगा और बस नहीं नहीं parallel नहीं नहीं line parallel आपको दिखाई दे रही है but है that line is not going to be parallel. अगर वो वो पैरेलल पैरेलल होता तभी भी भी पॉइंट को मूव करता ना हो 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 तो ये जो दो मैंने येलो सर्कल्स बनाए हैं छोटे वाले इन दोनों का साइज सेम हो जाएगा और अगर पैरल नहीं है तो इन दोनों ये दोनों येलो सर्कल्स जो एंड में बनाए हैं मैंने दोनों एंड में बनाए हैं इनका साइज सेम नहीं रहेगा आया समझ में तो अगर वो एक्सिस के सेंटर का सेंटर मारा तो उसके बोल सकते हैं कि उसका राउंड रिवॉल्व कर रहा है वो पार्टिकल कौन सा सेंटर कौन सा सेंटर भी बात लाइक आपने जो भी सर्कल बनाया सर्कल्स बनाया है ना सेंटर ले तो बोल सकते हैं कि उसके अबाउट रिवॉल्व कर रहा है पार्टिकल बिल्कुल हाँ यस एब्सोल्यूट बिल्कुल सही आपने बोला ये जो सेंटर ऑफ द सर्कल है ये ग्रीन लाइन पे लाई करेगा और ये जो पार्टिकल है ये इस रेडियस पे गोल घूम रहा है सेंटर की फोकस का है सेंटर की फोकस का दैट इज व्हाई आई सेड ना दैट इफ द ग्रीन लाइन इज नॉट पैरेलल टू द ब्लू लाइन The two yellow circles on the two ends will have different radii, and if it is parallel, they will have the same radius. ठीक है भी? हाँ ठीक है ना? इसका C U M लेके M Y निकाल सकते हैं क्या? नहीं कर रहे? C U M अलग चीज है, M Y अलग चीज है. तेरा एड्रेस जान के मैं तेरा नाम नहीं जान सकता हूँ ना या तेरा नाम जान के मैं तेरा एड्रेस नहीं जान सकता हूँ टू सेपरेट थिंग्स यू कैन से दैट यू कैन फाइंड द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया अबाउट एन अबाउट एन एक्सेस पासिंग थ्रू द सेंटर ऑफ मास दैट इज नॉट एन इश्यू बट यू कैन नॉट से दैट आई विल फाइंड द सेंटर ऑफ मास एंड देयर फोर आई विल फाइंड द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया तो moment of inertia and center of mass are two completely different things ha bhai kya bol raha tha second slide ke liye na dekho bhai second slide dekh lo jaldi se screenshot le lo aage badhte hain ho gaya na screenshot स्टार्टिंग 
ले लो भैया तीन शॉट हो गया मोमेंट ऑफ इनर शॉट विजिट सुनाओ यार हालांकि वो जो मैंने उससे तीन पॉइंट पार्टिकल थे वो भी रिजिड बॉडी है डेफिनेटली बट वी वांट टू नाउ फाइंड मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया कॉन्टिन्यूस ऑब्जेक्ट्स कॉन्टिन्यूस बॉडीज हाँ कॉन्टिन्यूस बॉडीज यस सो नाउ द थिंग इज दैट जस्ट लाइक सेंटर ऑफ मास just like center of mass there will be two categories here first category will be a uh, a list of objects for which the moment of inertia you must know of hand okay just like hame uh, half ring half disk and a sphere सॉलिड का मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया हमें ऑफ हैंड पता होना चाहिए मतलब टेस्ट ये अज्यूम्ड होएगा कि आपको पता है उसी तरीके से कुछ ऑब्जेक्ट्स के लिए मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया इट विल बी अज्यूम्ड दैट यू नो इट विल बी अज्यूम्ड दैट यू नो द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया so therefore what i am going to do is yahan pe main question q nahi likhunga wahan pe you have to assume yeah you have to understand that that moment of inertia is something which you have to remember okay yeah? so i will write something like this moment of inertia of a thing or mass m Yes, R about an axis passing through center and perpendicular to the plane of the ring. I want to draw this as well. So this is the this is the thing, and this is the axis about which we want to find the moment of inertia. Can you derive it? Can you tell me the answer? And best part is you don't really have to. Work out anything. There is nothing to work out. There is nothing to. You don't even have to put pen on paper to tell you the answer. Can you tell me the answer? Moment of inertia of a ring. What is it? M R square by four. नहीं राधिका वी के नॉट रिप्लेस बाई पॉइंट पार्टिकल एज लॉन्ग एज वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया वी के नॉट रिप्लेस बाई पॉइंट पार्टिकल मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया इज मास इंटू डिस्टेंस स्क्वेर आर वाई टू आंसर नहीं हो सकता And that would be dimensionally incorrect. So the answer should have units of kilogram meter square, whereas your answer has the units of meter. But now, without any work, you don't need to work out anything. Have you understood moment of inertia? Moment of inertia is summation m i r i square. Where mi is the mass of the ith particle, 
and ri is the perpendicular distance of the ith particle from the axis of rotation nahi ab par galat hai main fir se repeat kar raha hu bilkul sahi hai smith ha bilkul sahi hai the moment of inertia of any object is given by summation of mi ri square where mi is the mass of the ith particle and ri is the perpendicular distance of the ith particle from the axis of rotation now i need to carry out the summation or integration as we will see bilkul sahi sir i need to carry out the summation or i need to carry out an integration if the perpendicular distance of these various masses is different but for a ring with respect to an axis passing through its center and perpendicular ha bilkul sahi sun raha and perpendicular to the plane of the ring it is guaranteed that the perpendicular distance of each and every particle that makes up the ring parchit 1 by 3 ka factor kahan se le gaya hai agar hum ring ke is element ko dekhenge to iski perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation kya hai agar hum ring ke is element ko dekhenge iski perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation kya hai agar hum ring ke is element ko dekhenge perpendicular distance from the axis of rotation kya hai this r right this is r so this distance is r this distance is r this distance is r right so summation m i r i square me if all r i is equal to r there is no summation to carry out at least for r right this would simply become what r square summation of m and what is the summation of m ah yes yes exactly what is the summation of m is the mass of the ring since all particles forming the ring are at are at distance of r at center let me write from axis therefore i is equal to m r square at the end of story hey nahi jo hai itna high five kya 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 dikh raha hai ring bhavya ring hollow hi hoti hai solid ring kabhi pehni hai kya tumhe agar axis of rotation change ho jaye to m y bhi change ha अगर एक्सिस ऑफ रोटेशन चेंज हो गया तो मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया चेंज दैट इज व्हाई आई हैव टू बी वेरी स्पेसिफिक तो फिर डिस्क और रिंग में फर्क है कि नहीं है सो आई हैव टू बी वेरी वेरी स्पेसिफिक ओके एंड प्लीज नोटिस दैट आई हैव बीन वेरी स्पेसिफिक मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ रिंग ऑफ मास एंड रेडियस आर अबाउट एन एक्सिस व्हिच इज पासिंग थ्रू द सेंटर आई एम इंश्योरिंग दैट इट मस्ट पास थ्रू द सेंटर एंड must be perpendicular to the plane of the ring i have been extremely specific about the axis of rotation why because if i am not the gadbad ho jayega agar axis center pe nahi hai to kaise karenge aur kabhi kabhi kar aa raha hai dheere dheere aa raha hai dheere dheere slowly 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 okay 
Now answer me this question. Answer this. Moment of inertia of a non-uniform ring सेम एक्सिस है और सेम डायग्राम है लेकिन रिंग नॉन यूनिफॉर्म है इसका मतलब कि कहीं पे रिंग भारी है कहीं पे रिंग हल्की है नॉट मेड ऑफ द सेम मटेरियल वेरी गुड तो उसका आंसर बताओ ना जहर साई इट कैन नॉट बी एम आर बेटा इट हैज टू बी हैज टू बी के जी मीटर स्क्वायर इट विल अगेन बी इक्वल टू एम आर स्क्वायर बिल्कुल सही रहा बेटा Yes, बिल्कुल सही yes. So this is something very, very special about a ring, right? And this will not be repeated uh, for any other object. No way. Uh, this this is not going to be repeated for any other object. So if a ring is uniform or it is non-uniform, if a ring is uniform or it is non-uniform. If you have taken the axis to be the axis which is passing to the center of the ring and perpendicular to the plane of the ring, then the moment of inertia will be m r square. No, 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 Radhika, please don't confuse with the hollow sphere. Right? Let me come. Let me come to the hollow sphere. Hollow sphere or ring may be a lot difference. Okay. Another question I want to ask before we move on to the next. moment of inertia of a semi circle so this is the semi circle but the axis is still the same will be what axis is still the same हाँ भाई दो लोगों ने गैस किया है और लोग प्लीज ट्राई टू प्लीज ट्राई टू टेल मी ओके ऑल ऑफ यू यू हैव गिवन द आंसर आर रॉन्ग ऑल ऑफ यू आर रॉन्ग अगेन लेट मी रिपीट द स्टेटमेंट हाँ अभिजीत फाइनली करेक्ट आंसर दे रहा है मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया of an object hey radhika moment of inertia of an object is summation mi r i square where mi is the mass of the ith particle r i is the distance of the ith particle from the axis of rotation yes sir bilkul sir nahi sahi so hai galat answer hai isme galat answer hai ये ये वाले पार्टिकल का ये वाले पार्टिकल नहीं राधिका गलत आंसर है इसका मास m है मतलब ये जो सेमी सर्कल है इसका मास m है रेडियस r हाँ गुड सो इफ आई टेक हाँ जो है सॉरी शायद मैंने मेरे मेरे क्वेश्चन पूछने में थोड़ा सा नहीं अतर गलत है ये जो ग्रीन एलिमेंट हाँ बिल्कुल सही Yes, जो ग्रीन एलिमेंट है इसका डिस्टेंस ऑफ द एक्सिस डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द एक्सिस आर होएगा जो येलो एलिमेंट है उसका डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द एक्सिस आर होएगा ये जो रेड एलिमेंट है उसका डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द एक्सिस आर होएगा ये जो ब्लैक एलिमेंट है उसका डिस्टेंस ऑफ डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम द एक्सिस आर होएगा 
जितने पार्टिकल्स हैं इस सेमी सर्कल पे उन सब का नहीं नहीं वाली उन सब का मोमेंट उन सब का डिस्टेंस फ्रॉम दी एक्सिस ऑफ रोटेशन आर है देयर फोर द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ ए सेमी सर्कल शुड आल्सो बी इक्वल टू एम आर स्क्वायर बिकॉज अगेन व्हाट हैज हैपेंड आर आई हैज बिकम कैपिटल आर एशन एम आई आर आई स्क्वायर में हम आर आई कॉमन ले लें आरआई की वैल्यू कैपिटल आर हो जाएगी तो आर स्क्वायर बाहर चला जाएगा समेशन एम आई बचेगा नहीं इशू जो मास एम ही है रिंग का ये इस रिंग को आधे में नहीं तोड़ा है मैंने ये एक दूसरा सेमी सर्कल है जिसका मास एम है अगर मास एम बाई टू हो गया तो डेफिनेटली एम आर स्क्वायर बाई टू हो जाएगा बट आई एम नॉट सेंग द मास इज हाफ आई एम सेंग द मास ऑफ द semi circle is the same as so let me just put us uh har adhika aise unmute karke bolo na now now we don't need to so no uh, it's a semi circle uh, is a um, it has a border to alag hoga na uska border matlab as in it's not just a semi circle or semi circle ka border bhi hai niche ha to border hi hai na हाफ डिस्क थोड़ी ना मैंने बोला हाफ रिंग है ओके व्हाट अबाउट द मोमेंट ऑफ हां आप जब रिंग बोलते हो तो हम अज्यूम कर रहे हैं कि इसका जो थिकनेस है वो जीरो है ना हां व्हाट वुड बी द मोमेंट ऑफ इनर्शिया ऑफ व्हाट वुड बी द मोमेंट अगेन मास एम ही है What would be the moment of inertia of a arc of a circle? Mass m is mass is m, and axis is also the same as before. Very good, Radhika. Yes. Is the moment of inertia b m r square b r? Because okay. why? You have to understand why. Because every particle on this, every particle on this object will be located exactly at a distance of r from the axis of rotation. Okay, आगे बढ़ रहे हैं हम, आगे बढ़ रहे हैं हम. Please take a screenshot. We are moving ahead now. We are not going to come back to this screen now. Please take a screenshot. Okay. Moment of inertia of continuous objects. Moment of inertia of continuous objects. so for a collection of point particles or a collection ha or a collection of point particles i is equal to summation mi r i square right we have already seen this but for a continuous object I is equal to integral of r square d m. So what does this mean? Let's be absolutely, absolutely clear about this. So ha. Huh. So this is this is the rigid body. Okay? It's like a lump. lump of clay so in this rigid body you are to choose an element and then let's say that we are finding the moment of inertia of the object about the z axis and then you are supposed to find the perpendicular distance of this element from the z axis 
then you would say that look, I is equal to integral r square dm, where dm is the mass of this. Now, this is one way of thinking about this. Or moment of inertia can be integral di, where di is equal to the moment of inertia of chosen element. However, remember that since moment of inertia is dependent on the axis. So axis of all elements must be same. Since moment of inertia is dependent on the axis of rotation, therefore the axis about which you want to find the moment of inertia must be the same as, must be the same as the axis of all the elements. This may not integrate that way. Ah, very good question, Smith. Yes. Smith is asking ki agar hum second wala use karenge, to limits of integration kya honge? Pehle wale mein to limits of integration honge, that will be the physical size uh, of the object. Right? So zero to R ne jayega, zero to M jayega na, because DM element liya hua hai na. So first wale mein, the physical size of the object will define the uh, limits. Second wale mein bhi, it will be the physical size that will define the limits of integration. Okay, so for example, uh, we are talking about just like center of, just like center of. We are talking about moment of inertia of a disk. We will say that the disk is made up of rings, right? And the arbitrary ring that you have chosen has some radius y, some thickness dy. And the limits of integration will go from zero to capital R. Capital R is the radius of the disk. Okay. I cannot lay down the integration limits here. That would be uh, that would be impossible. The integration limits have to be decided. The integration limits have to be decided based on the uh, based on the physical dimensions of Please take a screenshot of this. Please take a screenshot of this. Nay, go ahead. Hum predefined Kalini Sakan ki limits kya ho. Okay. Moment of inertia of this. Of mass m radius r about an axis. Passing through center and perpendicular to the plane of Right. Again, I would like to draw a diagram. The diagram will be absolutely the same as the diagram of the ring. Please find the moment. Or you want me to find the moment of inertia of this? You want me to start with this? Can you do it on your own?
नहीं मास करेंगे डेरिया निकालना पड़ेगा हाँ तो सो आई विल आई विल डू दिस वन हाँ यू सी इस पे टेंशन this is the defining step i have been asked to find the moment of inertia of an object a continuous object i already know so first we must evaluate what we already know i already know i already know the moment of inertia of a point particle that is known to me it is m r square and i also know the moment of inertia of the ring which also happens to be m r square so the moment i see a disk i have two distinct choices number one is to take the element of a disk as a point particle and number Two, to take the element of the disk as a ring. Now, if you were to go back to your notes when we were discussing center of mass, you will see that I have specifically written that if you are in two dimension, if you are dealing with a two-dimensional body, then taking a point particle as an element is not really going to be worth your time because the mathematics behind taking a point particle as an element for you is only going to be mathematically viable for you as long as the object is one dimensional the moment the object becomes two dimensional or three dimensional you must fall back on the on such an element for which you already know whatever physical quantity is being uh you know whatever physical quantity you are being asked to calculate what do i mean by this mera matlab ye hai ye sab bakwas karne ka ki agar aapke samne disk aata hai to disk के लिए जो एलिमेंट है वो नेसेसरी आपको रिंग लेना पड़ेगा यहाँ पे आप पॉइंट पार्टिकल को एलिमेंट नहीं ले सकते सो चूजिंग द एलिमेंट एज ए रिंग ऑफ रेडियस वाई एंड Yes, D Y. Yeah, I can now write I. That is the moment of inertia of the ring is equal to D M into radius square. Please notice that when I taught you 
the applications of calculus in physics uh, when we were discussing center of mass. The steps are exactly the same. You choose an element, you introduce a variable and a corresponding d voila term, and then you write down whatever physical quantity you want to write down in terms of the new variable or new variables, and then you use unitary method to get a right hand side which contains only one variable. As of now, I cannot integrate because there is y square and there is dm. You cannot integrate. So you have to use unitary method to get rid of dm or, or, or to introduce dy instead of dm. Let's see how to do that. Unitary method. Pi r square area may mass m hai. Unit area may mass m by pi r square rahega. Right. So in the ring, the mass should be m by pi r square multiplied by area of ring. This should be just revision for you. How to find the area of ring? Well, the area of ring, remember, is equal to the perimeter of the ring multiplied by its thickness. So the perimeter of the ring is 2 pi y. Thickness is dy. So this means that dm will be equal to m upon pi r square into 2 pi y d y. Pi and pi cancels out. This is the value of dm. Therefore, di will be equal to 2 m by r square y cubed dy. So I have a uh, sort of uh, constants for x side liquid, I have variables for x side liquid. The next step, of course, is integration. But before we integrate, we must find out the limits of y. How to do that? Well, you go back to your diagram and you say, what is the most ring? और सबसे बड़ा रिंग कहां है जिससे डिस्क बना है सो द इंटीग्रेशन लिमिट्स मस्ट गो फ्रॉम 0 टू कैपिटल सो i is equal to 2m by r square into r power 4 by 4 which gives me mr square by 2 this is the moment of inertia of a disk of mass m and radius r about an axis passing through its center and perpendicular to the plane. Please note this down in your copy. Please try to do this yourself once again. Uh, if you are not able to do, you have screen. Pe hai. If you are able to do, there should be no problems. आप वो एरिया क्यों मल्टीप्लाई हुआ बता सकते हैं कौन सा एरिया जो है विच एरिया 
तो वो टू पाई बाई टी अगर पचास लीटर दूध अगर हाँ सर समझ गए पच्चीस कैन में आया तो एक कैन में कितना दूध आया नहीं सर वो समझ गया सर वो एक्चुअली मैं कंफ्यूज हो गया था समझ गया वो हमने मास्क पर यूनिट एरिया निकाला तो एरिया मल्टीप्लाई हाँ। Next. Moment of inertia of a hollow sphere of mass m, radius r, about. any diameter so i'm going to draw the diagram for you this is the hollow sphere we want to find the moment of inertia about this axis about any diameter what is the element that you will choose what is the element that you will choose yaad hai na hollow sphere is the scale le lena ring ring hollow ring all the rings out of the infinitely many rings that make up this hollow hemisphere uh, hollow sphere sorry is this ring and then i will say that look from the horizontal this angle is theta so for this angle therefore the thickness of the ring will be equal to r d theta so now what i want to do for di is to find the moment of inertia of the red ring about the yellow axis can you do that for me find the moment of inertia of the red ring about the yellow axis very good how do you yes Bhavya so has correctly pointed out that the the radius of the red ring will not be equal to R.
नहीं should be dm into r square right i mean the moment of inertia of the ring is dm into r square so first what is the radius of the ring let's find that out you notice that this is the radius of the ring acha acha karo karo ji एलिमेंट्स क्या होंगे बताओ सबसे छोटा व्हाट आर द व्हाट आर द कैन यू लोकेट द रिंग्स एट द एक्सट्रीम जीरो टू नाइनटी अगर आप लोग हैं ना तो नहीं नहीं जीरो टू नाइनटी भी गलत आंसर है जीरो टू टू फाइव भी गलत आंसर है हाँ जीरो टू नाइनटी करके फिर मल्टीप्लाई बाई टू कर सकते हैं और यू कैन टेक प्लस नाइनटी टू फाइव नहीं जो है जीरो टू फाइव गलत हो जाएगा आप देखो ना जीरो का मतलब सबसे बड़ी रिंग हो गई डायमीटर वाली 90 मतलब सबसे छोटी रिंग हो गई पोल वाली 90 से ऊपर कहा जाओगे आर इज इक्वल टू आर को साइन टू का राइट एंड Dm is equal to mass per unit area multiplied by the area of the ring, which is perimeter into thickness. This is equal to m by two to cos theta d. <coughs> मैंने एक गड़बड़ कर दी है आई एम सो सॉरी मैंने एक गड़बड़ कर दी है आई डोंट हां ओके ओके मैंने पूरा सही किया मैंने गलत किया आई वांट टू टेक थीटा फ्रॉम द वर्टिकल एक्सिस नॉट फ्रॉम द हॉरिजॉन्टल अब जो 0 से पाई एंगल बोल रहा है वो सही हो गया 0 से पाई जिसने भी बोला है so the uh, radius is not going to be this
we will have the R sine theta and dm will be mass per unit area multiplied by area of the ring which is 2 pi R sine theta d theta which is equal to m by 2 sine theta d theta. And therefore, di will be equal to m by 2 into r and r square sine cube theta t theta. So, i will be equal to m r square by 2 integral of sine cube theta t theta. I hope everybody has followed the steps. If not, I'll just write them down. This is the moment of inertia of chosen element, which is a ring. The red ring. This is the radius of the red ring. This is mass per unit area. Ah, zero to pi limits. This is circumference of the red ring. This is the thickness of the red ring. And it is for today, the 10th of March, that I have taught you integration of sine cube theta. This would have been around May of uh, 2020, May or June, I don't remember the day. The integration for her thought. Integration ki pehli class mein, integral sine cubed theta humne discuss kiya. Kaise karenge integral sine cubed theta? Hum sine 3 theta ka formula use karke sine cubed theta ko substitute karenge. And integral sine theta is minus cosine theta. And integral sine 3 theta is minus cosine 3 theta by 3. So, is remember that this whole thing is the area of so now why point of the sign cube theta integration zero to pi zero to pi q hoega why is it zero to pi? Simply because this is the uh, smallest circle on top and this is the smallest circle at bottom. So this angle would be zero, this angle would be pi. So the limits are going from zero to pi. Oh, very good. Yes. Put in the limits, Pacha.
just for remembering that nai one nahi aayega remembering that sin theta is equal to 3 sin theta minus 4 sin cube aisa ho sakta hai have i written this correctly or not ye correct likha hai na sin cube theta is equal to 3 by 4 sin theta minus sin 3 theta integral of sin theta t theta is equal to cosine theta integral of sin 3 theta t theta is equal to minus cosine 3 theta t so in using this and this solve for i tell me the value of i you remember that <coughs> cosine pi is equal to minus 1 cosine c pi is also equal to minus I answer. Anybody getting the answer? Hey. No, one is not coming. What is it? No, it's not coming. The answer is two by three m r square. This is the value I get. That will come out to be four by three. This is the value I get. That will come out to be four by three. Chalo, try it. One more time, sir. Let's take try it. And uh, Okay, so try it, guys, and uh, I'll see you in the next class. I'll stop now. The next class we are going to do solid sphere. So, क्या लेना देना तेरे को समझ कितने दिन चलेगा? चलेगा जब तक चलेगा. अभी भी आपको H C V start नहीं करना है. In fact, in fact, you can start H C V if you want. But only those questions where they have written find the moment of inertia of. वो भी आप शायद पूरा नहीं कर पाओगे क्योंकि इसमें अभी दो laws हैं जो मुझे बताना है, दो theorems हैं जो मुझे बताना है. 
चलो ठीक है एंड सी यू गाइस इन द इन द इन द नेक्स्ट क्लास ओके चलो बाय बाय आया फोर बाई थ्री चलो ओके